quick. When you're married, you can overwrite anything. <laughs> Pillow Talk! Hey guys, welcome back to Pillow Talk Monday. New year, new sweater, that's it. This is our first Pillow Talk of 2024. Happy New Year. And we haven't done one because Adriana and I have been very, very busy. Extremely busy. <laughs> the busiest we've ever been because we are um, actually technically working on two movies right now. Instead of doing like one film a year, we decided to make our documentary, but also another feature film. We just wrapped on a brand new feature film. It is a lesbian holiday rom-com. Third time's a charm, guys. It took us the third film to actually make a movie about two girls falling <laughs> in love, but it's gonna be so good. And it's just, and it's funny, it's and it's so cute, good. and it's heartwarming, and it takes place at Christmas time. So we did create a Patreon for our documentary, but because we already have that going, we're also including behind the scenes, sneak peeks, new information about this film as well. So if you wanna see the lead actors, if you wanna see on set photos, a whole bunch of behind the scenes info on both films, you can join our Patreon because we were like, let's just do let's two. Let's do all the movies at Why once. Not? Sadie is uh, 17 years old and while we were filming, she went to her aunt's house and caught a mouse. I don't know how. This girl can barely walk. <laughs> we have no idea how she did it. Okay. Speaking of new year, new me, new movie, um, new stresses. Obviously, <laughs> yeah. because, you know, yes. every year you want to be better than the year before. Okay. There's nothing more stressful than making a low-budget indie movie, okay? It's so roughly about 14 days. We were shooting for 14 days. We have been working for, I would say, 45 days straight when it comes to pre-production, and now we're going to keep working mm -hmm. until the end of time, until this movie <laughs> is done. Because it's currently already being edited. We wrapped it... What day is it? Just I don't over know. a week ago. I don't know what time a is week anymore. Ago, and it's already being edited because it will be coming out at the end of 2024. It's so we're not fast. making you guys wait. No. But do you know what helps with the stresses and the anxieties of honestly like going on set with like a ton of new people, like 25 new people and you're in this like high pressure situation of, you know, filming all day long every day. Uh, BetterHelp and therapy. So thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode of Pillow Talk. I had a call with my therapist on BetterHelp the day before we started filming. Like actually. <laughs> Just to talk through with someone, get in the right headspace. Get some tools that you can utilize while you're on set. Mm -hmm. If you feel yourself getting anxious or you feel yourself getting stressed, and it was how to helpful. manage that. It really helped. It really does it help. help yeah. BetterHelp makes starting therapy easier and a lot less intimidating for a lot of people. BetterHelp lets you do a therapy session, whether it's a phone call, a video chat, or even messaging. Whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. BetterHelp can match you with one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your location, your needs, and your preferences. Which gives you access to a much wider range of expertise than what might be in your city. To get started, you just fill out a questionnaire that asks you questions like things that you're going through, what kind of therapist you like, and then BetterHelp will match you with a therapist to help you. You'll be matched with a therapist in most cases in 48 hours. And you can schedule your therapy sessions at whatever time is convenient for you. And one of the best parts is if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you can switch your therapist at any time at no additional cost. So join over 4 million people who have joined BetterHelp to start living a happier and healthier life. So don't forget to sign up for BetterHelp to get 10% off of your first month. The link is in the description. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash gay women. Dating versus being married. What's the difference? <laughs> That's what I told myself before I got married. <laughs> Y'all know what's up. You follow us on Instagram. <laughs> who are we married to? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Sadie? I oh, wish. <laughs> oh, oh you play with a pen. This, this little woman's turning 18. Toby. 18? 18. In, in April, please. Still, still old. years away. Yeah. Years we'll away. See, baby. So, okay, these all don't pertain to us, but we just think these are good observations. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I feel like when you just start dating one, a lot of these are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you just start dating. Yeah. This isn't like long-term relationship versus but There is also a difference. Marriage. Some of them are long-term versus marriage. And you're like, what's the difference? But some are and dating. It's a smaller difference. Some are dating versus marriage. Yeah. So this is a, this is a 
is a dating versus marriage one. It's a bigger one. But when you're dating and somebody takes you out on a date and they treat you to dinner or a movie or like in general pay for something, it really feels like a special treat. But when you're married and your wife takes you out to dinner, you're like, okay, that's my money. Like this restaurant's <laughs> too expensive. We cannot afford this. Every purchase now is like our money. It's our purchase. It's our purchase. No gift. We don't have the same disposable income because Sadie is 17 years old and she gets Silencia arthritis in, arth arthritis injection? Yeah. <laughs> this is not an ad for Silencia, yeah. but it does make her feel better. Yeah. This is a, like a nice perk about being married. Is now anytime you go on vacation with your wife, which also I do love saying mm -hmm. my wife. Mm -hmm. Um you can just tell people it's your honeymoon, mm. and then they just give you free stuff. Technically, I guess you could do that while you're also dating. But if you but don't have the rings, you got to get fake rings. Yes, it's something. a it's a lot more. You have to come up with more of a backstory for questions or people asking you about your wedding. Yeah, because if they're like, "Where'd you get married?" and you guys have two different answers, yeah. the trick is up. So if you are gonna say it's your honeymoon while you're dating, it is a bigger lie. Yeah, <laughs> and some of you cannot lie, but you can have a t tiny lie. <laughs> While you're married, it's your honeymoon. You get room upgrades, flight upgrades, so much. Adrienne and I have had so much champagne. We have been collecting the champagne because we don't drink champagne. <laughs> We're not gay men. What do I do with champagne? When you're dating, if you want to break up, you could literally go to brunch and say bye and then go home and that's that. And that's it. You never need to do anything ever again. Maybe you pick up your little small box of belongings whenever you want at any at uh, your convenience okay but when you get married you have to get divorced <laughs> ew <laughs> you have to get divorced if you want to break up you have to like fill out paperwork the government <laughs> is involved you have to hire other people <laughs> it costs money like what why there was a short amount of time when we were married and we had signed everything, but we hadn't put the piece of paper in the mail. And we're like, we could just rip <laughs> this up. No one needs to know. But then once you send it, you're like, once it goes in, then it's divorce. Literally, <laughs> the mailbox shut and we went, divorce. divorce. <laughs> I can't wait to be thrice divorced. <laughs> it's so adult. It is very adult. Very adult. <laughs> but also, I feel old enough that I feel like... It feels right to be divorced and not like broken up, right? Don't you are also the age, enough? yeah. Wait, you don't want to like... be 30 whatever and be like, <laughs> my girlfriend and I broke up and they're like, you're not divorced? Yeah, like, you're no. old enough to be divorced. No. It's the proper age to get divorced now. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> okay, here's a fun one. This one's a fun <laughs> one. If one of us dies, which eventually. Eventually. We get to decide what happens to the other person's body. Even if I'm like, donate my body to science, and Sarah's like, mm-mm, not doing that. This body mine now. I'm a taxidermy this body, I'm gonna put it on the couch, I'm gonna lay with that body, that's my body. <laughs> Can you taxidermy people? I don't know, but I'll look into it. <laughs> no. no, you know what I'm gonna do if you die first, and I'm gonna find a like, really pretty young thing that's in need of like new eyes, a new heart, some maybe new lungs. <laughs> they won't just, want any of my just, grimy little parts. <laughs> so you make sure your body gets donated to them. No, that's And then we can have a special bond. I will do that with, you take care of yourself, I'll do that with your body. I will put your pristine body parts because like... On a pretty new thing. On a pretty new thing. <laughs> but yeah, it's a weird, um, I don't know, responsibility? to have it is because like my family can be like yeah they're like no we want adriana to be buried in the family plot and you're like i'm a duster over the ocean mm -hmm. that is true it's a it's a weird it's a weird thing. it's weird yeah. so don't forget to sign up for better help to get 10 percent off of your first month the link is in the description better help h-e-l-p dot com slash gay women we made a movie you can join our Patreon or follow us on Instagram for more details and updates. Thank you guys for watching Pill Talk Monday. And we'll see you next Monday.